God bless you. Please be seated. Last night, between last night and this morning, uh, three more children have been born. And the girls have declared that this is their convention. One boy and two girls. <laughs> so totally we have 87 babies born, 39 boys and 48 girls. Let the girls shout, praise the Lord. And let the boys shout, hallelujah. Don't worry, boys, we are going to marry them anyway. <laughs> oh, the Lord is good. I would not want to mention uh, people who came last in sanitation. I would just advise the following people that before they go, they should go back to their provinces and tidy up things. Lagos Province 14, Federal Capital Territory Province 12, and Ogun Province 2. Uh, go home. <laughs> Go and tidy up. This convention is too good for you not to meet, I mean, for you not to be able to come next year. God bless you. While I was thanking the Almighty God for this uh, convention, I said, I'm grateful for this tremendous convention. I'm very, very grateful. And before I could go further, he said to me, son, next year will be better. So I said, amen, but uh, I wonder how. And I, I'm amazed. When the preacher began to preach this morning, because the theme for next year convention is heaven. And God just sent him as a forerunner to give you an introduction to heaven. One thing you, I'm sure everybody knows about heaven is that there's no dying there, no sickness there, no sorrow there, no poverty there, no failures there. <laughs> Only victors live in heaven. And next year convention, the theme is heaven. Do I hear somebody shout hallelujah then? I have tried yesterday to thank all those who have been helping. But if I forgot your department, forgive me because God will never forgive, forget you. Uh, I'm grateful to everybody. Well, each time I say I'm thanking the department, some people have always wondered why I don't thank the pastors. Why should I thank them? They are the ones celebrating. The convention is their convention. So all pastors shout hallelujah. <laughs> Let's stand on our feet. I just want to bless you and then you'll be on your way. 
But as usual, I want to give you two minutes. If there's something you should have asked all this time that you forgot, just for two minutes, go ahead, ask God now. Something, somehow you forgot. Oh, there was this miracle I've asked God for. Is this something special? Go ahead, ask God. Is he here? And he always reserves the best to the last. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ancient of days, I just want to say thank you again. All sufficient God, thank you. The one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask, thank you. The God of grace, thank you. For all you've done for us, thank you. For your children who have been able to, to wait in the very last moment, thank you. My Father, my God, I hereby decree the very best that you can give, give to this your children. The very best you can make anyone make this your children. That miracle that they must have so that their joy will be overflowingly full, Father, release unto them. It shall be well with you. You will move from glory to glory, from power to power, from joy to joy. From testimonies to testimonies. My God will promote you. You will be greater than your peers. You will never know sorrow again. Very soon, people will come to you and say, how are you doing it? On a daily basis, my God will surprise you. The enemy will never discover your secret. From now on, you will be unstoppable. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your business. It shall be well with your churches. All over, all round, it will be well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the world will hear about you. And see, we say,